probably the only complex joint in the whole process of uh, making the veggie patch is where the post meets the top trimmers. And what we've got to do is we've actually got to notch this post down a little bit to allow for these two pieces of timber, when they sit there like that, to sit down into the post a bit and that gives us room in here for the rafters to sit in on top of the post. We've got to actually take that down 15 millimetres from the end here and remove that material so that it forms a joint. So to mark that out, just very quickly, we measure the, measure the distance down either side, like that. Get the sliding bevel that's already been set on the 30 degrees and mark up like that. And like that, and you can now see this is the material we've got to remove. If you didn't want to cut this point, you could actually just square that off because you would actually don't see this joint. But I'm going to leave the point on there because when we're assembling it, it all goes together a bit easier. We then mark the correct distance down here. And then square that, square that line around and down the side. So um, once you've finished cleaning that joint out, you can see that the, um, the two top trimmers are going to sit in there like that. And then the rafter will sit in there and that ties it all together. Another thing I might just show you while we're at it here is um, we, we've, I've shown you the notch here for the, where the top trimmers um, sit in. This is again looking at the post. So that's where the top trimmers sit. We've then also got some mid trimmers that sit. Now I've marked down the 220 millimetres down to that mark. The mid trimmers are going to sit there like that and that. And then we're also then going to have a rafter that comes out of the front side of the post. Like that. And so what I've done on the back here is I've marked a couple of holes. We're going to drill those clearance holes through now because it's much easier to drill in the workshop or on the ground before you start putting the structure together. So we're going to drill a couple of holes through there ready for those screws that are going to hold the, the rafter in place when it comes out like that. When it comes to making the rafters, you'll find that each different type of rafter has a different end on it. The primary rafters have a 35 degree plumb cut and then they're cut square. The secondary rafters are cut with a compound cut and the tertiary rafters are cut with two compound cuts. This is because when they meet in the middle, the primary rafters go together like this, the secondary rafters come together like that, and then the tertiary rafters go in there to finish that apex for the veggie patch. If you're building an octagonal veggie patch rather than the hexagonal one like we're building today, you'll find there's four secondary rafters and that they've got different angles on them than these do. But it's still the same principle, they still meet together in the centre in that crown junction. If you happen to be using rough sawn timber for your veggie patch, and like I said before, we're using this recycled hardwood, it's got a lot of splinters and things on it. And um, one thing you might want to do um, just to eliminate some of the splinters and also to give a more sexy appearance, appearance of the, the finished job is uh, remove the arras. Now, in woodwork terms, the arras is this sharp edge where two surfaces meet. And um, 
and obviously that's a good spot for getting splinters in your, in your thumbs or, or whatever. Um, probably the easiest way to remove the arras is with a, a block plane um, or a, a smoothing plane and you can just run it along like that and that eliminates that and gives the, gives the job a much, uh, much better appearance. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, another tool you could also use is a, a power planer and that's what we're going to use because it's a little bit quicker. So um, we just run it along the corner like this. And you can see there you get a much nicer finish to the, uh, to the edge of the timber. Give your veggie patch a, a much more professional uh, look when you're finished. All right, so I'll just quickly go through. This is one of the finished rafters. This is a tertiary rafter. Um, you'll see each of the rafters have a different um, way of, of connecting at the top. Here we've just drilled a small pilot hole um, for a nail. If you look at the bottom end of the rafter, you'll see we've got two angles cut there. I'll show you what they're for in a minute. We've also got a horizontal cut here at the bottom. And we have a hole drilled running up through there. That's for a batten screw to hold this rafter down to the top of the post. When you drill that hole, it's easier if you drill from this end back up through the rafter rather than trying to come down from here and come out in the right spot. These angles are designed to fit in when we have the, uh, the two top trimmers there. They meet together on the top of the post. This rafter sits in there like that and all sits together forming a nice intersection.